It is Wednesday, my dudes, and today, since it's Wednesday, that means that there is a new snapshot, and I just had to jump into action as soon as I saw the new stuff they added. They finally added something to 1.16 that makes it worth it for you to upgrade if you do commands, and they added a lot, actually. Uh, it's crazy. So I'm going to be covering this, and then I'm going to be covering something else that is just amazing, probably tomorrow or later today. But first, we are doing the slash attribute command, and if you're in the future, don't worry. They probably didn't change it going into the full thing they might have added or fixed things because there's a few bugs. Um, but I'm going to go into what there is to edit here. So essentially slash attribute is similar to having an armor piece on that affects your health or some attribute. And you can do it to everything, even entities. So it's slash attribute. And I'm going to do at S, but you can do any entity. You probably need to make sure there's only one. So if you do at E, make, you probably need to limit equals one. So let's see, type equals player. Yeah, you need to specify that there's only one. So you can only do it to one thing at a time. Um, then let's go ahead and see. So here it'll give you a list of different attributes you can edit. Players can use anything generic. And then there's these extra two that are not for players. So we'll just do the max health. Now, the next part is there's three options, base, get, modifier. Base is going to be messing with a modifier that exists. So naturally players have health, so the modifier probably exists. Uh, you can do get and you can get what that value is. And for me, that's 100 or you can do set and I can set that to 55 um, or 10 or 100. OK, so I can set that just like that. Um, now. There's also just the word get, and I believe, don't quote me on this, but uh, let's see, uh, give p boots. Uh, actually, no, I can just do game mode creative, get these boots, get these pants, and then do, so let's go with uh, armor. Let's do armor base get. And for me, that's zero. When I put this on, armor base get, is still zero. Okay, yeah, so it's base. So if you say base, it's like the player stat. But if I do get, it's the combined of everything you have on. That's what I thought it was. So if you want to just see what their total health is right now, you would use get. But if you want to see what their player specific not items, you would do base get. So that's the specification there. And the last thing is modifier. And I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to try to use it, but I think the UUID might be broken. That was some of the discussions. So uh, we have add, remove, and value. Um, this is where you can basically like edit a modifier. So add would be to give it a modifier that doesn't exist. Remove would be to like take away a modifier that exists. And value, um, I believe, would be to just get a value. So something. Uh, it doesn't have tab completion. It needs UUID and scale. So for UUID, Again, I'm not really sure what's wrong with it right now, but you basically just like put in numbers and I might have to type in the exact number of a player that exists in the world or some UUID that exists in the world. Um, but it's basically like adding or removing modifiers instead of changing them. The other commands are for like changing them. So we also have remove and then this one isn't working for tab completion. So it wants a UUID. Um, but again, I don't think UUIDs are working, but remove will just, uh, if you put remove in and you put a valid UUID, you can remove, uh, that entity's, uh, armor attribute or something like that. And then add will let you add an attribute and change what the modifier is to, um, and I'll pull up the wiki page here. Uh, you can, the, if you do modifier add with a UUID, and then you put the name, you can add the attribute with a certain type of add, multiply, multiply base. Uh, these are the three different types uh, of attributes, which they change the name of and how they format 1.16, but that can be easily fixed because uh, there's a few generators that work for 1.16. But yeah, that's pretty much all of the slash attribute command. You can use it to change the base values of a player, or you can get the added values of a player and you can do it with players, entities, anything you want. So really quick video. Anyways, guys, this is an awesome update. You should definitely check it out. There are some other really cool things relating to uh, fonts that I'm going to be covering next, as well as some really simple text things. So anyways, see you guys next time. Peace.